Around a month and a half ago, I decided to finally pick up a MetaQuest 3 VR headset, and I am shocked it took me this long to have my first VR experience. I loved it so much, I even went out and got a PSVR 2. And while it is definitely harder to set up and hit that unblurry sweet spot, you can't deny how damn good the games look on it. First game I played on the MetaQuest 3 was Assassin's Creed Nexus, and it now ranks up high on my tier list for that series. And just on the horizon, we have another game for the Metro franchise, one of my favorites, Metro Awakening. And of course, coming out sometime this October is a new game in the Batman Arkham series, Arkham Shadow, a sequel to Arkham Origins. The lukewarm reception this game got during its reveal and most recent gameplay trailer is downright criminal. I know it sucks to not have a new Arkham game for consoles, I get it, but with the horrible failure that was the Suicide Squad game, this feels like a breath of fresh air for our lungs after almost a decade of waiting for a new Batman Arkham game. Going back to its early roots, the game is going to be mirrored after Arkham Asylum instead of the more open city and night and even origins. Which is fine, a more level-based approach is probably best for an entirely wireless VR headset anyways. Arkham Origins, the game Shadow, takes place a year after. I still feel is criminally underrated in the franchise and is a damn fine game in the series. All the voice actors are returning too, which is just the extra cherry on top, and it slides perfectly into place. Besides the fact this game is now in first person, and everything looks as it should for an Arkham game. From the streets, to the vents, to the villains, to pulling off combos with gadgets mixed in between, all while countering like a martial arts master, it's all here, just in an entirely fresh perspective. We even get to see some not-so-well-named villains like the Ratcatcher or Lockup, and even see more characters before their villain arcs like Harleen Quinzel and Harvey Dent, who we all know eventually become Harley Quinn and Two-Face. Now, the obvious difference of this game being in first person and in VR, the other major difference is this game does not take place during one night, as the other four Arkham games have. It's an interesting choice, and my speculation on it is that, you know, since it's been confirmed, that we get to experience playing as Bruce Wayne a few times. Remember, these are the guys who made the amazing Iron Man VR game, where you would go back and forth between Iron Man and the man inside the suit, Tony Stark. Narratively, this could be great if done right and paced well. It does remove a little of the urgency the other games provided, however, like Origins taking place entirely on Christmas Eve, or its DLC taking place entirely, you know, on New Year's Eve, or Asylum with, like, Blackgate Prison. Even when City went open world, it still seemed feasible for Batman to accomplish his task in one night. Only in Arkham, you know, night did you it feel like you have to suspend your disbelief a little bit. But it still worked out, even though it took place on, you know, Halloween. I know it being only on VR stings a bit, and that's obviously why these things are getting downrated to oblivion, because fans have been waiting a long time, myself included, for another proper Arkham game. And it doubly stings for owners of other headsets, besides the MetaQuest 3. But this looks as faithful as one could get from a new Batman Arkham game. I mean, would you really trust the current day Rocksteady to make a game as good as their previous Arkham trilogy? I honestly don't think so, as most of the talent in that studio is probably long gone by now. And that is just my two cents uh, as like a new VR owner. I've had these headsets about two months now, and I'm absolutely loving them so far. And with games like Assassin's Creed Nexus, the Resident Evil 4 remake, and even playing RE Village on it, Horizon Called the Mountain, and upcoming games like Metro Awakening, and obviously Arkham Shadow. There's some really damn good games on VR, and hopefully it only improves from here. Lost Echo was another one. I'm still waiting to play the sequel on that. I'm, I already have it, I just haven't played it yet. But there's just so many that are like opening my eyes on like how much I've missed out on this type of experience in VR. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video. I've been way busier lately, so I'm sorry for the shorter videos and not posting at least twice a week as I've been used to doing. 
Uh, I'll try harder. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing, liking the videos and commenting. It truly means a lot. And with that, I'm out. Talk to you next time.